click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous reaction we have understood that is what is the action of that is zinc in presence of that is NH4Cl or nitroalkane and now in this topic we are going to talk about the reaction of nitroalkane with acid in presence of water. So now let us understand this reaction and let us see what is the product that we could get. So friends, in this topic, we are going to talk about the hydrolysis of nitroalkane. So by using this reagents or by using this solvent, we can do hydrolysis of nitroalkane. But nitroalkanes are basically divided into three types, that is primary, secondary and tertiary nitroalkane. So they have different reaction with respect to hydrolysis process. So that's the reason I am talking about the first one. That is what happens if primary nitroalkane undergoes through hydrolysis process. So now let us understand this one by the general reaction. So friends, suppose if I am considering a primary nitroalkane that is RCH2 and a 2 and suppose if I am reacting it with water that is H2 and that also in presence of HCl and suppose if I am heating it then the following product that I could get is it is nothing but R C double bond O OH along with that of that is NH2OH. So this is the product that we could get and, and the thing is this nitroalkane has now been converted into a carboxylic acid. So this is nothing but carboxylic acid while this is nothing known as hydroxylamine. So this is how basically we can convert a nitroalkane into carboxylic acid by using that is also that is primary nitroalkane. Let me mention this also that is if we are reacting primary nitroalkane through hydrolysis process then the product that we could get is a carboxylic acid so let me give an example related to this one for example if i consider that is nitroethene so that is nothing but ch3 ch2 no2 and suppose if i am reacting it with water and that also in presence of hcl so it is not necessary that we should only use HCl, we can also use that is H2SO4. So in this case, basically the reaction will proceed in such a manner that there is a carboxylic acid that we will obtain. So this is the reactant that is what we have written over here and the product that we could get is nothing but CH3, C double bond O, OH plus NH2OH. So this is nothing but acetic acid that is what we would get. So that was the reaction of primary nitroalkane that has undergone through hydrolysis process. So now let us talk about the next one that is what is the hydrolysis reaction for the secondary nitroalkane. So now let us understand the reaction. Suppose if I am considering a secondary nitroalkane that is RCH I am writing over here as R and this is nothing but I would write it over here as NO2. So this is nothing but a secondary nitroalkane and suppose if we are reacting it with HCl. So the reaction is different compared to that of the previous one so in this case we have to use that is two moles of secondary nitroalkane and the reaction will proceed in such a manner that is the product that we could get is nothing but r c r double bond o along with that of the byproduct that is nothing but n2 that is nothing known as nitrous oxide along with that of that is h2 so these are the byproducts that we could get but the thing is the product the main product that we have got over here is a ketone so whenever we are using that is secondary nitroalkane and if secondary nitroalkane if it undergoes through hydrolysis process that also in presence of HCl then the product that we could get is a ketone. So that is the reason that there are two different reactions of the nitroalkane depending on whether it is primary, secondary or tertiary. So now let me give an example related to this one. Suppose if I am talking about CH3, CH, here it is CH3 and this is NO2. The name of this reactant I could name it as that is 2 nitropropane. So I have to use that is 2 moles of 2 nitropropane. And suppose if the reaction proceeds in presence of HCl, then the product that we could get is nothing but that is 2 moles of CH3, C, CH3, double bond O, along with that of that is nitrous oxide, along with that of that is water as a byproduct. So the main product that we have got over here is nothing but a ketone and the name of this ketone is known as acetone. So this is what we have got and this is how basically we can convert that is 2 nitropropane to acetone. So that's it. So now let us talk about the hydrolysis of tertiary nitroalkane. So in this case basically the HCl that is what we are using 
it is not that much reactive to the tertiary nitroalkane and that's the reason that tertiary nitroalkane they don't go with the hydrolysis process very much easily so that's the reason we have only mentioned here the primary nitroalkanes reaction and the secondary nitroalkanes reaction so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you so much